The cyclotron is used in hospitals to produce high energy beams for radiation therapy. It can also be used in particle accelerators. Basically, it is in particle acceleration in order to accelerate a particle. It consists of two hollow D shaped electrodes, referred to as obviously Ds, in a vacuum chamber. There's a uniform magnetic field applied perpendicular to the plane of the Ds, and there's an alternating potential difference between effectively both half, halves of it. And the idea is that charged particles are directed into one of the Ds near the centre. They're forced on a circular path due to the fact that motion, the force is always perpendicular to the direction of motion, so they're experiencing centripetal force. And by the, as they're on a circular path, they always emerge from, they always um, go around the semicircle and emerge from the same D. And the idea is because, and the PD then accelerates them into the next D, um, then accelerates them into the next D, where they are once again forced on a circular path by the magnetic field. As it's an alternating PD, they can be accelerated into both halves um, every time. On emerging from the D, the idea is, is that the voltage reverses again and keeps accelerating the particle, therefore meaning that the radius constantly increases. And therefore, the idea is when the particle reaches to the end, it is travelling at its maximum speed. Now, the time taken to, to by a particle to move round it, the path in each D doesn't actually depend on the particle speed but also basically because each time particle crosses 1D from another, it gains speed and its radius increases. And because MV equals B over Q, you can write V as BQR over M, and therefore you can cancel the radiuses using angular speed, and that's why you know how, um, that's why you know that radius has actually got nothing to do with the time taken.